I wanted to show you something pretty cool. Uh, first thing, before I forget, I want to thank uh, Ron. Ron lives around the corner from me. And uh, he's the one that told me about this unique new holster clip that's been out there. Well, it's probably not new because I'm always behind. It's probably been out for a while, but to me it's new. And uh, he said, did you see the ulti clip yet? I said, no. Because I think I was telling him about um, <clears throat> one of my customers that I did a holster for. A lot of them come in, well, one of them came in, and um, doesn't wear a belt. And they carry a little gun. And they wear gym shorts. A lot of women don't wear belts either because they wear a lot of expand, like spandex clothes. And that's fine with a little gun. Um, that's fine. He's, I'm always preaching that if you wear a gun, you really need to wear a belt. But this ulti clip pretty much solved the problem as far as stability goes. Uh, now these are the, these are, I just put these out here. These are some holsters I made. In case you guys wanted to see how they're doing, um, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, there's all kinds of different systems, okay? Now, first you have the belt loop system. This is good if you don't want to wear a big heavy gun belt. If you just want to wear just a regular belt that even got a Kmart or something, uh, this will work for you because it goes around the belt, loops around, and snaps. So as long as this has something to go around and snap around, when you draw your weapon, if you had to, the whole holster will not come out, whether you got a shitty belt or a great belt. That's what's good about these. Not everyone likes to wear a big, thick, heavy-duty, stiff gun belt. And that's what I recommend these belt loops for, is those people. Then you have people that wear um, a good, thick, heavy belt. And that's what I recommend these clips for because how these clips is they're on the holster and that hook hooks under the thickness of the belt. Uh, if you have a real thin shitty belt, this clip really is not that good because there's not much for it to hang on to in case you had to pull it out. So this is what I've been doing. Thick gun belt, I recommend this. Cheap Kmart, Walmart belt, I recommend this. But then people came in, and women especially, said, I need a holster, but I don't, I, don't, I don't wear a belt. And I said, I don't know what to tell you there. And then Ulti Clip came out with this awesome clip. So what I did was I made a holster for my LCP custom right here. This is called Ranger Green. I just made this. And uh, this has the Ulti Clip on it. There it is. Okay. Uh, I put a little space behind it, as you can see. Let's see, see. So it makes it tuckable. You can tuck your shirt in up to there with it. Now, what's cool about this is um, you can wear with any kind of setup you you have: sweatpants, gym shorts, even jeans. If as long as the jeans ain't falling down, you can just clip them on the side of your jeans. And this is how it works: it has a lever like this, and you slide your gym shorts or jeans all the way up to there sorry the, the camera works backwards so it messes with me and then you press down and it clamps down tight real tight on whatever you clamp down on so even if you wear a cheap thin belt you could probably clamp it put it over the belt and then clamp down on it you know as long as it's a thin belt. If it's too thick you probably won't be able to clamp down on it because you because you won't be able to push it. It needs a little room for that spring tension. As a matter of fact, the whole thing is made out of spring steel. And uh, that's for sure because I tried to drill a hole in one of these because I was trying something. And it just laughed at my drill bit. So you cannot drill a hole in this stuff um, unless you have a special, special bit. So it's, it's the whole entire clip is made out of spring steel. And that is as strong as it gets. Um... This is 080 Kydex, not Kydex, Bolteron. I don't use Kydex anymore. And uh, it's all I had, and I like this color. I usually use 060 Bolteron, but um, this is 080. It's kind of thick, but um, as you can see, it fits it really, really nice. Okay. Nice positive click. Gun's not going anywhere. 
and I put this extra high because the sights are really high on this custom and I just wanted to show you that but the video really is about the ulti clip so I just want to thank the guys at ulti clip for sending me a few samples to show you guys and I will definitely use these for uh, the customers that just don't want to wear a belt okay and like I said don't forget if you wear a nice thin belt like a dress belt that's real thin and dainty you, this will work on that also you can just clamp it right on top of the belt so if you're a businessman you wear a business suit and you want a tuckable holster you can get the ulti clip on there and it'll tuck two inches down almost two inches down in there for your shirt to tuck and it looks nice it doesn't look uh, homemade or jacked up and uh, I'm digging it uh, I just wanted to show you I really don't like showing my big friggin soft fluffy belly but I just wanted to show you how tuckable uh, this clip is with this uh, LCP it's like really I have it under I have it clipped under my belt this is a gun belt so it's really thick so I have it clipped under my belt and it's clipped onto my jeans okay and then I can just pull my belt up like that and it's like it's freaking gone completely gone so you know what I'm saying uh, it's 100 percent talkable very very cool man the other type they have is this is called this is the ulti clip three I think or two I don't know this is this is another type see this one has two mounts one is two two screw mounts okay now you have this one also this one has one mount and this is for if you want the clip to if you want to be able to pivot it this way or this way you know and once again uh, I don't know yeah it would be tuckable depending on what rubber washer you used you can make this tuckable and if you like to move your holster around and move your you know this way or that way that's that ha that's the single hole so you have the single hole and then you have the three hole I use the two solid holes this one looks like an adjustable hole I don't, I don't use that I'm not familiar with it yet okay so I just wanted to show you guys that these do exist for you people that do not like wearing belts or you people that do not like wearing big giant heavy gun belts that's what's good with these are that's what good that's what good that's why these are good that's what good with these are that's what good with these are who talks like that you do so uh, they're a little expensive um, but not for what they are because normally uh, you know these clips are like you know four bucks or something few bucks to make a holster these are a few bucks to make a holster these are a 10 to 12 so if you go to your holster maker and request an ulti clip expect a holster to probably be 10 more dollars but it's worth it okay uh, any of you guys um, I, I still really ain't making holsters for the internet but um, anyone that's local I do you guys know I do make holsters so my local customers that I make holsters for I'm hoping you see the video and I just want to show you that I do have the ulti clip available alright uh, I wanted to show you something else this is my own uh, personal light and I figure hey you know what I gotta show these guys this light this thing's amazing I'm not giving it away it's just it's just a, a big ass light that I have and I just wanted to show you this thing this light is 4,000 lumens. It's called the Lumen Top SD75. And what's unique about it is it's not only big, it has a power bank on the back. And that is cool. And as you can see, it has a transparent lens there. That's there just in case you leave the power bank on by accident and you know it's lit up. What well, I'll show you in a minute how it works. Okay? This is really neat. It takes four 18650 batteries. It has a, a little carousel in there, just like all the other lights. But this one's different because this is, check the back of this out. It has, um, the charging lights tells you how, how much your battery's charged. As you can see, see them light up. I have a full battery charge. And when I turn that switch on, it activates these two USB ports. So you have a v USB port that's, um, uh, 
5 volts and this one's a little stronger I guess. One says 1A, one says 2A. I guess one's, one's a little stronger than the other. Don't know. This is a DC connector which comes in the kit. Uh, if you don't have a battery charger, you can plug the DC connector in there, plug it into the wall, and it will self-charge if you don't want to keep taking your... I don't like taking the flashlight apart, and putting it back together, taking it apart. It's, it's bad for the connectors and the, and the contacts. I'd rather keep it screwed tight, and if I'm going to charge it, I'll plug it in the socket and let the battery charge by itself, leave the batteries in there. Okay, so once you activate that switch, it activates these two USB ports. So I can charge my cell phone. I can charge a laptop. I could. They even give you a little. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. You'd be surprised how much this is. You think something like this is like 400 bucks or something? Not even close. This is the case you get. You get a nice aluminum case with it. And here's here's the whole kit. They give you a car charger. They give you a, uh, an AC charger. They give you extra O-rings, just like the other companies do. And they give you this little miniature flexible lamp and what you could do with that is plug in a USB port like that turn it on okay and now you have a lamp you can bend it any way you want and you can work on stuff or you're taking your guns apart or you just need you just need a little bit of light you don't need a big flashlight and that is that is friggin how cool is that that comes with it and that case and all those attachments come with it. Okay, so you can see, and it's a bright lamp. It's bright. Okay, so that's how that goes on, and you turn the switch off, and it turns it off, and it turns off everything else. So that is friggin' out of this world to me. So I just wanted to show you the Lumen Top SD75. Here's the cylinder. I like that it has that little window. That's cool, because if you leave that on, it really drains the battery quickly. Okay, so here's the lumens. Uh, it's 4,000 lumens. Uh, you can light up your whole neighborhood with this thing, okay? Ridiculous amount of light. Alright. Can't, whoa. Damn, man, I was freaking blinding myself. Can't really see it. In the light. There it goes. I mean, it's, I don't even put it at the camera, it might... I'm seeing blue spots right now. I can't see shit. There's your settings. Slow, medium, and high. And you hold the switch in. That turns it off. So it's 4,000 lumens with a low beam, medium beam, and your 4,000 lumens. Crazy shit, man. I thought it strobed. I think it does. Wait, let me see if I can get it to... Let me see. Yep. Uh, that'll disorient somebody with, with a 4,000 lumen strobe. It's got that real deep orange peel cone. Badass light, man. This is a shit hit the fan survival light. More than anything I've ever seen. So I figured I just wanted to show you that real quick. I thought it was really interesting. And I've seen these on Amazon. I'm not even kidding you. From 189. 189. Amazon. So it's called the SD75. Alright. So I know a lot of you guys out there that love stuff like this would be interested in this. Oh, this is for a tripod. You can unscrew this lanyard here. And then you can actually put the light on a tripod. And if you're working on something, you have a light or whatever you want to do with it. Okay. Awesome. Very, very cool. The batteries, I think, are provided. I ain't sure. You know, they sent me the batteries so I could show it to you. But they're 18650s, so uh, they're like 10 bucks a piece. You need four of them. I think, I'm almost positive when I ordered it from Amazon, it said batteries provided. That's all I can tell you. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you the light. And definitely wanted to thank UltiClip for sending me this. Awesome, great idea, universal clip for whatever you want to use it for, for carrying a, a, a gun safely. Awesome. That's it. Talk to you guys later.